Denny and Darren Campiglia obviously not had their best days this afternoon, but to be in front at all times in the last quarter and uh, to take marks, they're going to come sooner or later. He's thrown Scotty Cowie into the middle, ruck roving. Scragger Craig, I believe, is going to be on a wing or running down the ground. And uh, he just said to them that believe in themselves and they'll get up from the deficit and uh, be in the grand final. OK, I listened to Phil Smith at the uh, Thompson is it speech on? and he was a bit concerned he thought they bludged in that quarter he didn't think they did any hard things he thought they were good in two shoes and he said they need to improve a lot in this last quarter get back to what they were doing in the first half as the balls bounced in the middle of the ground who's going to get it out of the center up it goes there's a mark here to uh, thompson What's the play on immediately to that play of the 21 jersey of david burke long towards half forward now back of the pack scragger Long bomb up there, Beekman's in front, got an opportunity here, oh, Scott stopped, that was uh, Murray. Oh! High tackle on Holdsworth, and he'll get the free kick, waste no time. The run of Ian Ellie's a good one, and he's taken the footy, a nice mark, running with the flight of the ball. Okay, our cameraman, now, director downstairs, we've got on screen the Epco Easy Shops third quarter scoreboard. What about we get a bit of the rolling play if we can? There, there it is. is. And we have got free Ian Ellie in the pocket. He's on 50. Oh, he goes, a torpedo punt. Towards the goal square, Denning's there, but in front, Christian Smith, and he's been there all day. Played well, hasn't he? Yeah, he has. Oh, he's played a great game. Oh, could that mean you get a vote off you? He might push Cowie out. Might be a tanker. <laughs> OK, well, oh, oh. he's played on, and uh, great smother there from Prima. Now, paddled out oh, a bit too vigorously, Ken Denning. Looks for Holdsworth, and now an opportunity for the Tigers. But, oh, there's some fumbling going on. Chipping in now uh, is Stewie Scott on hands and knees. Feeds out the hand pass. Oh, Denning didn't go for the footy. Opportunity now for Prima. Can he kick it? No, he can't. Great smother. And Christian Smith again doing some fine work in defence for the Tigers. OK. Christian Smith twice has held them up, and thank God he has, because they've, they've kept the ball in there pretty well, Blue West. They get this first goal. It's... 5-3 to 7-7. Seven, seven. Gets them within a few points and, uh, gee, that'll be a pretty interesting game then. McFarlane had the ball smothered. On the bottom of the pack there was Gann and also Ingwersen. He picked up his game in the third quarter. Gavin Ingwersen in the middle of the ground. They need him to continue in this final quarter. It's about 20 metres out from goal. Umpire Gladke, Beekmans and Taylor. Beekmans gets a tap, Cam Pigley holds the ball up. Oh, kicks over his head. Primer in front, going to beat him over the line though. And Chris Gardner, and a boundary throw in. What do you reckon, Ronnie? I just get the feeling they're going to bob one here. They, yep, they've I got it all down there. Yeah, they're pretty they keen to do well. And it's only the good efforts of a couple of defenders on a couple of occasions that have held them up. Yes, yeah, certainly. And Cam Pigley now tries to shark it, but good work with us. Wisps in and wanks it right out to the outer side <laughs> of the ground. As we see now, an opportunity for Watson. <laughs> He can't uh, pick it up. But, uh, oh, yeah, good work there from young Scotty. You bet he's pulled it off, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what can I say? That was uh, a little bit of misfortune there from young Volibert because he's kid of misfortune for you too, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, he, he's, he did all the hard work, and then when he kicked it, he's, he, he kicked it off the side of his boot, but fortunately it was touched before it went over. I so think you're attached. The boys at the West will be having a laugh at this bit. I'll take over here, Ronnie, get you out of trouble. Beekman goes up versus Taylor, who's done very well in the ruck all day. The ball rebounds to Nan Kervis. Wide. That center wing chips it around. Good kick. Demopolis marks. Fires back the hand pass. It's OK. Oh, that's Burke coming down the ground. Got one a bit to Nelly Bly for mine. And he must take the free kick. Or is it Skulls? It's Skulls. Skulls yes. Yeah, at half forward. Plays on now towards Baxter. He's going to be outnumbered. There's three back there. They can raffle it. Scotty Cowie's taken in front of Stewie Scott. The runner-up in third place getter in the uh, second division, best and fairest on Monday night. Scotty Cowie now. Across the ground, Stewie Scott, who went to take the marks, made position, and has taken the mark. He's got it. Oh, well held up by Demopolis. Good experience, because he had Mackenzie and Scragger Craig running past. Yeah, and was lucky to get mm. away with it, but he did it just right, didn't mm. he, Big Mopper? Done that a few times, I reckon. <laughs> As Stewie Scott goes towards Latter, too much carry. Puts Stop the hands up, well. Ladder can't take the mark. Oh. Well, he only caught one very high. He's trying to crash his way through the pack. That sets something up for the Blue West side. And Frank Italy must take this free kick, and he gets up holding the nose. Is that a blood rule? No, he's got to kick it before the umpire gets a chance to look at him, I think. Frank Eat, just defensive side of a centre wing. Looks up, doesn't see much happening. Got a lead there from Holdsworth, at least to ignore that. Kicks it high. 
High Flyers won it. Up goes Taylor. Should have held the mark. No opposition. Dropped it though, and they bottled it up there. Have Blue West. They've got it to within 65 metres of goal. It is at left half forward. Grandstand side of the ground going to the Melbourne end of the Western Oval. They trail 49 to 33. And the umpire, Adam Gladke, will put this one down. Does so at half forward now. Ladder and Taylor both stand their ground. Taylor kicks over his shoulder. No 10. Scott, yes it is. Stewie Scott's taken the mark. Umpire Gladke yeah, said it. Work, Twain. Yeah. 20, it's gone 10 metres. Now he goes with his right foot up towards Cam Pigley. Taylor's back there also in the middle of the pack. Holdsworth running through Burns. Shepherds, nobody there though to help him out. Cam Pigley goes back in over the ball. High Ho, Hi Ho Silver's on two. Nearly gets to the ball. Murray Scott running back towards goal. Cowie, good running. He's in the middle of the ground. Handball to Holdsworth. Oh, he gets one high from Chrissy Gardner. Can, no advantage paid. Cowie was nearly ready to run off there, but Holdsworth will take the free kick on the 50-metre line. Goes short kick across the ground. Taking the mark is Trevor Haints. He's going to be kicking for about 40 metres. Plate will kick this mm. one, Ron. I'd have played on if I was Trev there. Give it a play within 20 metres. Well, he's a normal half-back flanker. Hey, what, what a bit of glory here on him. What would I want to get in his photo here kicking this one? OK, well, can he kick it? Yes, he can. It's into the breeze. Yeah, good point. <laughs> you can kick. And it is uh, through for a point, but uh, here goals are needed for the Cheetahs. 34 plays 49. Time clock showing five minutes gone of this final quarter. 15 points to difference as Christian Spit looks ready to set the play back on. Little shit. Oh, a short kick. It's all right. He's got Gardner. That was a shit kick, Ronnie. That's what you thought it was. <laughs> it was very shit, in fact. And uh, Gardner takes the mark just 20 metres out from goal. That's Tippy. Puts it on the boot. That's a better kick. Long one. Beekman's backing back and takes a good mark. Big fella Beekman's just attacking side of centre of the ground. Johnny the Mopola stands the mark as Beekman's got Craig Eddie in his own of the wing if he wants to use him. He doesn't. He's going to go actually long. That's a good option in this stage. Cowie leads you to the football. Takes it right on the 50. Wants to play him. No one stands the mark. He can go for goal. There's no one back there. Cowie unloads with a long kick. Ladder comes across. Up he goes. It was touched off hands. One point to Scotty. Cowie by golly, he's had a great game today. And they're peppering the goals. They're getting the ball down that end, Ronnie. You'd yeah, reckon the wind would change, wouldn't you? Yeah, you certainly would. But, uh, well, that's why they've been on top of the, the ladder most of the season. And uh, I knew they'd finish on with plenty of run. 35 plays, 49. John Football Umpires League, final quarter scoreboard. Smith goes to the point of the centre square. Nobody there for Thompson. Haints at the back of the pack. Withers comes through. Well tackled too. That should be dropping the ball if the umpires are consistent. Oh, not there. Ingwerson gets a handball out. Murray Scott's got time to set something up now. Goes up towards the leading primer in front. Good mark. Gus has taken Great a good mark grab. in front of Gardner. Because he heard it too. Yep. Chrissy was right there with him, but that was good hands. Plays on quickly. Ladder. Now, looking at his first goal he kicked you this afternoon. Distance here will be an absolute soda. Accuracy the only problem, Jase. Yeah, he's uh, kicked one from a similar distance up the other end of the ground, but obviously the accuracy with the wind at this end. And 5-5 uh, five, five plays 7-7 seven, seven will make the game very, very interesting if he can kick this. Comes in, he's a left footer. Good kick with the breeze. It's coming back. I think he's done it. Good goal. Oh, here come Blue West. They're not done with. Oh, the game is getting very lively, said Dunn Gilbert and Van Hall. <laughs> <laughs> That's the uh, his second goal this afternoon, and that'll move them to 6-5-41, and Thompson a 7-7-49. Eight points of difference, Geelong Football Umpires League final quarter scoreboard, second semi-final in this Division 2 GDFL season. Seven minutes gone, final quarter. Plenty of time for either side. Batty Burns, Sporting Trap, he's bringing us the final quarter time clock as Taylor, he's rucked tirelessly in the middle. He wins this one again. Scott goes up and taps it back from whence it came. Watson, a charge, got a hand on it. Back to Taylor it goes. Standing start, up and under, towards half forward. Players rise. At ground level, they do well to Thompson. Hand pass comes across to the 42 Guernsey. They're having a flying shot at the goal mouth. Jimmy Wallace. Jimmy Wallace. I just had to have a bit of a look. They haven't seen him this afternoon. Obviously, just come on the ground. And the kick not too good. Out of bounds on the foot. And McKenzie, the Menthoids man, Ronnie. Right? <laughs> the doctor. The doctor. M-E-N-T-H-O-I-E-D-S. <laughs> Dr. McKenzie's Menthoids. There he is down in the back pocket. He's going to have a free kick. Last line defence now. He goes with his left boot. Taylor, Ladder, and Mick, and also Nan Curvis. Scotty Cowie's there. Nan Curvis plucks the ball away from him. Scotty keeps his feet. 
Can't take the ball with him. Over the top, though. He burrows in. Good play. And the umpire will come in. Umpire Gladke and bounce the ball at half forward. We see that uh, Rick Humphrey getting ready to come back on. You can't kick the ball out of bounds on the full, can you? No, you cannot, because Wallace is off. <laughs> Cowie taps it down towards Stewie Scott. Keeps in front of him, pressured by Burns. All over the top, free kick. Yet too high. And Stewie Scott to take it at half back. He's worked hard today, yeah. Scotty, hasn't he? When they're in trouble in the first quarter, he played loose man in defence. He, he's kept on coming. He comes with this one towards Cam Pickley. He's caught behind on this occasion, and he is, in fact, outmarked by Christian McFarlane, who's done a pretty good job this afternoon. Spears it across towards centre for the corridor. Mark taken by Haynes. Played on. Kicked it into the man on the mark. Here's a hand pass. Comes across. But Thompson are a chance here through Watson. Goes for goal. Watson, he, oh, what about a crucial one? He's missed it to the, he's missed it to the, to the <laughs> long side, in fact. He would have yep. thought the wind drifted away, but he's kicked it too far right at one point only. And uh, ooh, a sigh of relief there, I think, for Blue West. What a let off. Trevor Haynes uh, was off and running and didn't need to be. Great smother, rebounded. Watson's kick just missing to the right-hand side. Lakino to do the kicking in from full back. Nine points of difference, goes to the outer side. Looking for ladder, comes from behind, gets one high, no free kick over the top to Tim Gardner. Handball to Scholes. Quick kick back towards full forward, Nan Curvis runs straight at the ball. He gets around in Worsen. Oh, good play by Craig to intercept. Scragger now takes a bounce along the boundary line. He's got two chasing him. He goes short towards Beekman's. Could be, oh, nearly on the full. Well done by Beekman's to find touch. He's done so. So what about Scragger's ever? That was sensational. Yeah. That intercept. That's ever. almost worth a tank, I reckon, Scragger. Oh. Any criticism should have kicked the ball long. Yeah, well, I think he thought if he put the boot in, we might have put it out of bounds. So he deliberately tumbled it. And, uh, well, Beekman's a bit of luck. It just bounced inside the boundary line. Boundary throw in. Up they go. Beekman's does the ruck work. Comes to the ground. Here comes Burns. Running back against the flow. Hand pass back's OK. Gets it across to Humphrey B. Bear. Down goes Humphrey into the forward line. McKenzie comes out with what looks to be a limping. Chrissy Gardner. They both headed towards the boundary line. It's out of bounds. No doubt he is limping. Chrissy Gardner. And probably having an actual rest down there, Ronnie. Yep. In the full forward or forward pocket position. Yep. Certainly boys get a bit sore and sorry for themselves. As the ball now back into play. About 50 metres from the Thompson goal. Taylor. Big fist into the pocket. McKenzie's there and he breaks through, kicks the footy long out into the open spaces of the Western Oval. The bouncing footy will it sit for Trevor Hates? Yes, it will. No, it won't. Press there by uh, Matty Gardner, and I think you'll find Trevor Hates has taken it over the line and out of bounds. We see Justin Justin ready to come back on. I think Chrissy Gardner will be the one to come off. He's not looking too good in the uh, goal square at full forward, limping very badly. Throw up, Taylor. Gets it down towards Watson. Half forward, though, and high hose taking the, taking the mark at half back. Silver goes across ground. Cowie just inside the centre square. Always held up by Humphrey. Played a marvellous game, Scotty Cowie. Tone in the voice suggests could be a tankard for Scotty. Across the ground. Scragger, there could be another tankard. Plays on quickly. Left foot kick. Lead from Ian Alley from half forward. Good play by Harrison. Because he taps it away and out of bounds. Like, like the chances they're taking now, they're starting to bring the ball across ground and change direction. And you know, had Ianelli been able to mark that ball, that could have been in, into an uh, attack again. Tudor's working hard. Boundary throw in, up they go, good work. Timmy Gardner thumps it 20 metres up towards their goal. Lejuno, quick hands to the scrag. Oh, Scotty didn't know he had it. That was uh, number 16 there in Murray to the run of Scotty Cow. He looks up there for all oh, the... Primer nearly took it, but he feeds off to the run of... Uh, he's worse than He'll kick it, he'll metres, kick it, I think. And Gavin Ingsworth has popped the through. Oh, great, great play, play, the Cheetahs. Great, great play, Primer. Yeah, and great run through the centre too. Uh, Craig, also Murray Scott and Scotty Cowie, the one to set it up. Get it towards Primer. Great handball from the old veteran Gus. And a good finish by Gavin Ingwerson. And great use of the body by Gus Primer to gather the football. When he couldn't mark, he used the lemonade and sass magnificently, hipping his opponent out of the way with the rather large posterior and uh, gathered the footy over to Ingwerson. And little Gavin made no mistake. 7 5 47, play 7 8 50. Three points the difference here in the second semi final. The winner goes straight to the grand final. It's a free ticket. Ladder takes it out of the air. He's claimed by Burns. Who steals the footy? Breaks the center as Burns. Right foot kick long and towards Justin. Justin the echo can't get at that one. McKenzie sees it safely over the boundary line down there. Three points the difference and with plenty of time to go. We've only played 11 and a half minutes on the Bannock Burns putting Travis final quarter time clock. 
Boundary throw in now. Important for both sides here in the attacking zone of Thompson. Demopoulos stands his ground. Can't get the ball away. Does now. Off the ground by Scholes. Oh, his leg. No free kick. Close to the boundary line. They keep it in. Thompson. Demopoulos at the bottom of the pack. Well done, Stewie Scott to intercept and take the ball over the line. Since half time, Ronnie, Thompson have added just one goal. One. One goal. Uh, two. Two. And Blue West have gone from one goal three to seven five, so they've kicked six two. So it's been a it's been a game of halves, you might say, Ron. You certainly could say that again, Cookie, as we see that the it's been a game of halves, you might say, Ron. <laughs> Packer players are falling out there, and uh, well, Wigmore now warming up on the boundary line for the Cheetahs. Umpire Jervis bounces down, ball about 40 metres from Thompson's goal, Taylor to Burns, quick hands to Nan Curvis, who's been quite the second half, and that man, Mackenzie's here. M-O-N. M-E-N-T-H. Yes. He's got it in the back pocket, short kick from Mackenzie's OK, finds ladder, takes mark, plays on, has a bounce, the big fella's going to be in trouble, the luge one tackle, has to get rid of it in a hurry, hand pass, not good, put bowling bread under pressure, comes back to the bear, here come Humphrey, here come Humphrey, left foot kick for goal! Scragger got a hand to it, should have taken the mark, actually, but the... Ooh, a lucky one there. A let off for Justin Latter. What was he doing? Oh, oh I think he was dreaming. No, no, I'm dreaming. <laughs> Johnny Burnett saying that at the back place from Monterey, actually. Seven goals, 547, Blue West. Thompson, 7951. It's four points to difference. Scragger goes to half back flank. Out of side. Nan Curvis can't take the mark. Silver, good roving at the bottom of the pack. Nan Curvis is there, overruns the ball. Murray Scott always going to get wrapped up by Watson. Bottom of the pack, Stewie's got to Silver on hands and knees. Holdsworth can't take it with him running past. Haynes is there. Now Thompson have got it. Watson goes back. He's on the wing. Quick kick towards centre half forward. All oh, numbers here. Skulls traps it. Can't take it with him. No pressure. McKenzie straight through the pack. Well Good play from McKenzie. Up towards centre half to the wing. Sorry, Burns. Has picked it up. Played a good game this afternoon. So has Nan Curvis. He gives it to him now on half forward. He's got time. Nobody coming at him. Left foot kick. Measures the kick, but not good. Scrag is there. Gets one too high. And he and McKenzie have really played well in this last quarter. Fair decision there. Would have taken the mark had he not been scragged. He plays across the ground. Oh, he's drawn Humphrey and then going to put Ian Alley under pressure. Demopoulos is there. Oh, he holds him up. Free kick. Well played, Frankie. Yeah. Knew he was going to yeah. be in big trouble there, but was had the presence of mind to put himself in front and not grab the footy. The kick has got to be good. It's OK. Tongue and Neil takes the mark, does he? No, he drops it. Play on the call. Tried to get a kick in. Couldn't do so. Back in they go after it. Oh, could be a, a dangerous uh, bit of play there going back into the play. It's going to be a free kick. Wait on it. Yeah, Lachino held it out. Blue it. West. And I tell you, he's oh. played a terrific game. Nicky Lachino in back pocket. It has been <laughs> full back for a little while too. And the advantage rule wasn't paid there. And there was four Blue West players running along the wing with the ball, not okay. to be. OK, Lachino, the short one's on. He kicks it to straight to Stewie's cut. No matter what happens, you're playing again Nick, next week. Nicky, we might call him next week, Nicky. Here comes <laughs> Scott. Heads out towards Cowie. He's been the target all quarter out here on the wing. Pushed away from him on this occasion. Here comes Demopoulos. Gathers at the 50 metre line. Mopper straightens up. The kick's charged down. It rebounds towards Bottombrett. Here comes Lachino. Little kick from Lachino. Back to Scott. You definitely get a game now. Next week, Nicky gets it across to Stewie Scott. He goes long on right foot. High mark is wanted. High mark are found and the mark taken at half back here and a good one too dripping into the pack David Burke well he plays on quickly with the hand pass to the uh, well, loose uh, Nan Curvis there and he kicks up there oh nice mark back of the pack Stewie Scott takes a screamer big last quarter Stewie Scott oh, he's played well all day mate chips in there looking there for uh, Beekman's over his head to Silver now comes on good boy quick hands there to Murray Scott looks up the ground the kick drops short uh, Smith in front, D did well, couldn't hold the letter. Oh, Burns twists and turns, he could have been penalised. <laughs> but uh, I tell you what, we've got an opportunity now. He's worse than, oh, he's held with the ball and threw it away. And we'll get pinned. Free kick to the orator at half back. Hasn't done much wrong either, the orator. You can only give three tankers this afternoon, Cookie, so you're going to have to make a few decisions. Goes up towards half. Oh, Neil from the side, pay the mark. He's done so. Well, I had the glasses on that. That was that's not a the, mark. That's <laughs> the mark of the day. I was just going with the umpire there. <laughs> Neil. Oh, nearly goes across the ground to Craig. Could have been dangerous. He goes to the centre of the ground. Poor kick off the boot. Oh, they wait for it. Thompson. Ian Alley falls over at the ro crucial stage. McFarlane. Oh, that's a throw too. 
Yep. And the umpire, Adam Gladke, pinged that one. I yeah. think that was a good decision, Ronnie. Your decision? Yes, good decision. Okay, free kick goes to the Gino. He's played a great last quarter. He chips the ball back towards Beekmans. Couldn't gather it. Here come Watson. Watson gathers now. Goes on the right. Put towards half forward. Craig from behind uses the fist. Back of the pack charts here. Justin Justin. Well played. Well played by the Gino, who charges out of the pack. He's shepherded by Scragg and Craig. The kick is a beauty. And the mark taken here at half back by Stewie Scott. The captain coach. Goes on the right foot. Too far for Cowie. Not a good kick by Scott on that occasion. And they'll get out of trouble with Skulls. Takes the mark. Hand pass over the top to McFarlane. McFarlane up and under the woods. Half forward. Who wants it? Stewie Scott puts oh. his hand up and takes a beauty. Yep. Dominating proceedings here this afternoon. Stewie Scott. <laughs> Must be a few mozzies here. They're just swapping a few down there, Ronnie. <laughs> <laughs> that time of the night. Scott goes towards the wing. And Rowan Holdsworth holds his ground and takes the mark. They haven't got much of centre half forward though. They need a good mark now. He plays on nobody on the mark. Goes towards Cam Pigley and Cowie. It's over the back of the pack. Free kick, push out, oh. and Marcus Harrison will take it at yeah. half back. Hey. He's my mate Cowie, but I, I picked that one straight away. Go oh, that was good use of the body. Harrison nope. at half back now. High kick up towards centre half forward. Scott over the back can't take the mark. Scragger Craig roving towards the boundary line. Very neat from Scragger. The experienced players yeah. have looked at in this last yep. quarter. Stuart Scott's been yep. terrific the last quarter. Scragger Craig's been good. So too Latuno. Cowie's been fantastic moving up onto the wing here. At the experienced players have just looked at They've given him a snip, Ronnie. Yeah, they certainly have. As uh, well, Ruckman just uh, didn't get a handle on it. Beekman tries hard. Can't trap the footy. Burns does well. Wood slung. Murray Scott, cool in the crisis to uh, the Scrag. The Scrag, now here's a go. Trevor Haynes can run onto it. Will it sit for him? No, it won't. Lachino's there. He picks it up. Goes up to the cab. Pigley. Right play, Lachino. A Mediterranean man. A sensational <laughs> performance in the final corner. Cam Pigley goes long towards Cowie. In front, Cowie's taking the mark. Oh. Ka -ka -ka Cowie. Oh, the fight back. Great play, great mark, Cam Pigley. Great work, Lacino. How's it if you're a full back? He's 19 minutes into the final quarter, Scotty Cowie is. It's 7 5 to 7 9. They're four points behind Blue West. He's the regular full back and he's got a shot for goal. He is about 13 metres out for goal. He goes for goal. Oh, wait on it. Wait on it. Oh, and oh, missed, it. missed it. Cowie the, misses a goal, the opportunity to put it like Blue a West into the ground. Too, <laughs> like an offender, the pressure was enormous. One point only to Scotty Cowie, probably his first mistake for the afternoon. Well, that's his second. He kicked another point a while ago, Roddy. Three points to the margin. <laughs> 15 what and a, a half minutes gone. What a game. Football umpires league final got a scoreboard. A lovely long bomb. Up they go, down she comes. The mark's been claimed and it's paid to the Strang. It's Trevor Haynes, actually. Trevor Haynes, I yep. should say. He goes out towards half forward. Murray Scott is there. Comes towards Ben Silver. Hi-ho. Handball out. Stewie Scott can run onto it. Is it going to sit for him? He's on hands and knees now. He's got Murray Scott, his brother, there in support. Baxter, who's back there in defence. Silver runs around. The orator. Left foot kick smothered. Haynes is there, though, in support. Good tackle by the orator. Up towards Stewie Scott and Primer. They, oh, ah! Gus! Yeah. Gus has oh, taken the mark. Oh, well. Oh, they, they lined up for it there. Gus goes across the ground. Frank Ianelli's going to be pressured here. Harrison, good play. Scotty Cowie's there. Can he make amends? He does. He runs away from Humphrey. Handball towards the ladder. He's a left footer. He's got to get around two or three. Handbacks, handball's back to Frank Ianelli. Inside to Beekman's. Quick kick from Beekman's. Oh, it's a poor kick though off the boot. One against two. At the back, Denning. Smith in front. Smith could have got a free kick. None forthcoming out of bounds. Well played again, Woo. the veteran Primer <laughs> made a contest when it hit the turf. Gee, what a game now. We've gone 21 minutes in the final quarter of the Manic Burns Body Trappies. Final quarter time clock just points in this. <sighs> Beekman's wraps himself around an opponent. They're giving away the free kick. That might have been uh, Skulls, was it? Picking himself up. David Burke. Burke, it was the 21. Whew. Can they hang on, Thompson? They've dominated the game for most of this uh, a semi a semi final. They're just falling in a hole at the crucial stage. He kicks the ball out towards centre wing. Up from behind, no mark taken. Tugger Neal's in there. Little paddle up the ground. Lands with Beekman's. Hand pass out forward to Martin. That's Dewey Scott. He tried to do too much. He couldn't kick it quick enough. He got tackled. Claim lost it in that <laughs> tackle. It is a ball up decision as Andrew Watson made sure it didn't get out of that pack. Yeah, great smother. And, uh, whoa. 60, you can see it there on the screen, about 55 metres out from goal. Blue West against the Breeze, doing all the attacking. They've been on top all year. Can they get up, Jason Doherty? They can, Scott taps it out towards half forward. Umpire Jervis to come in and do the honours again. 
Seven six play seven nine, only three points of difference. Almost into time on twenty four and a half minutes gone. Batty Burns putting trap his tight look. Ronnie, we came here thinking it was a late end was there for Blue West. What a game we've had here. Yep, Thompson, sure. right not to be tonight. They're still in front. They certainly are. Now, the umpire has just stopped proceedings. It looks like there could be the blood rule here, is it? There's our old mate Jerry Lombardo going past with a couple of cans there, Ronnie. Didn't drop a minute all. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it's Holdsworth, and he had a blood nose at three-quarter time, so he's obviously got a bit on the jumper and has to come off with a blood rule. And the love child could come back on and make himself a hero with and a goal. Limp back on by the look of him. Mm. Doesn't look too fit, the love child. I think they've got a few. He's, I think he's changing the jumper. David Tanner does a bit of a, the old one-two there, but the switch, you catch this one, I catch that one. Let's see what number he puts on. <laughs> we now don't need to know this. Number two. Number two. Frank Fatoli's number. Two, two's a four, see? Frankie Fatoli. In the great mould of uh, Frankie Navy. Alfie Della Monica. <laughs> Drago Galubovic. Drago, one of those. Frankie Ian Alley. One of those players we made famous, Roddy. <laughs> okay, 7 6 48 to Blue West. 7 9 51. It's three points the difference. Now, who's this going to favour that little bit of a lull in the traffic? Like the umpires <laughs> just got time to get their breath right. <laughs> okay, we've got Beekman's goes up high against Taylor. Hands and knees, quick ball, handball out to where Watson ends up with it. The big spiral torpedo, a beauty up to half forward. Looks there for Matty Gardner. Taps it back. Oh, the big mopsy comes in. The big fella has a bounce. Oh, he's lost it. And great work there from uh, Tunga Neal. Paddled out. Opportunity here for Skulls. Shoots at goal from 30 metres. Oh, he's missed to the left. He has. He's just missed. Ooh, could have wrapped it all up. 22 minutes gone to the final quarter. One point only there to Darren Skulls as Lucino. There's the for Geelong football umpires league scoreboard on screen. 7-6-48 to 7-10-52. As Lucino kicks the ball back into play, the kick has to be good. It went towards his coach. He couldn't take it. Picked up by Withers. Left one kick into the pocket by Withers. Googie, googie, googie. Bounces it over the boundary line. We'll have a boundary throw in 15 metres around from the point post. Well, the Tigers would certainly be happy with the ball at the Church Street end of the Western Oval. Skulls taps it down in front. McFarlane off his left boot. Oh, McKenzie in front Jeez. and takes the mark. Oh. He's done well this final quarter. McKenzie at fullback. Frankie and Alley. Oh, it's a poor kick, though. He was out there wide. Timmy Gardner didn't go straight to the ball, though. Ingwerson gets tackled. Can't take the ball with him. Oh, Thompson got the numbers. Humphrey, left foot kick around the corner. McKenzie's back there and Lakino. They've both been good in this final quarter and it's out of bounds. Well, oh, nearly time on coming, fellas. It's 23 and a half, but it's got to the final stands up. Can Thompson hang on and get themselves a ticket into the grand final? Or can Blue West get it down the other end and kick a quickie? Ladder in front. Scott taps it along the ground. Silver has got the runner. Oh, Volenbrett, though, couldn't take it with him. Matty Gardner on his left boot. Ladder in front of Demopoulos. Lakino's there also, high. wrapped up, and a ball up. Bit high, David Cook says. No yeah, had the glasses right on that one, no doubt about it, but that wasn't paid, so it's going to be a ball-up decision. 22 metres around from the point post. Thompson, another goal will seal it for them. Demopoulos does the right with He tries to bust his way through the pack. The big mop against the foot, and it's into the goal mount. Here comes Ian Ellis in a bit of stripe. Paddles it in front of him. Had McKenzie for support, but couldn't get the ball clear. As uh, the player there tackling him, Jimmy Wallace, back on the ground. Made it very interesting for Frank Ianelli, and it's a boundary showing right forward pocket this time. Up they go, ladder in front, likewise there, the Scrag. I think you'll find came in and did some fine work for them. And the ball again is back out of bounds in the right forward pocket. 24 and a half minutes gone, Batty Burn, final quarter. Time clock, Roddy. Ticking away, valuable seconds. Boundary throw in, Taylor, ladder. Front position, Taylor gets it. Humphrey off his left foot. One step, but one behind. Two goals, two. We see that 28 and a half minutes gone on the Bannockburn Sporting Trophy's time clock. And it'll show that the scoreboard will show that Thompson are 7 11 53, and they're five points in front of Geelong West Korean Football Club, who are 7 6 48. Got to make something of this. Scallon Craig prepares to kick the ball back into play the Scragger. You've got to go down the middle, Scragger. You've got to win the game, not save it. He goes long, well out over the 50 metre zone. Good kick. Up goes Dan Kubis. Two bites at the cherries at a mark. There it is. Siren. The siren's gone. Siren's gone. Thompson booked themselves a ticket in the grand final with a great fighting win here. They were dominated the first half. They were overrun in the second half, but the Blue West couldn't kick the goal that counted. They've gone down by five points. 
and uh, I think Phil Smith will be a very relieved man. He was worried at three-quarter time. I heard his speech. He can see writing on the wall, but full credit to the Thompson Tigers. They fought it right out. Geelong Football Umpires League final quarter scoreboard. Blue West, 7-6-48 in a very low-scoring second semi-final. Have gone down to Thompson, 7-11-53 by the margin of five points. Ronnie. We thought we'd come here and see Blue West win the game fairly easily. So did Jason, so did you, so did I. And I tell you what, full credit I, I did, to Thompson. I did, I <laughs> did Oh, you get on your breath. We'll, <laughs> we'll just leave that idiot out. Uh, what a sensational game. Yes, it was a, a great game and uh, good, a lot of pressure. And Thompson, uh, have they uh, started the game proceedings with a lot of zest and a lot of uh, determination. Their, their tackling was terrific early. And they set it up in that first quarter when they uh, went in it uh, with a, a very handy six-point lead. Then the, the second quarter was really the icing on the cake of all that hard work. And at, at half time, Cookie, they had a, a very handy 33-point lead. And really, you'd have to say it looked over. But I, I did say off camera, and then we came back on. If they could kick the first three goals, Blue West, or two of the first four or something, they'd be right back in the game. They did. They kicked the first three goals, and all of a sudden, the game was alive, wasn't it? Yeah, it certainly was. And uh, yeah, credit to... Uh to both sides and uh, well you know the, the goal kickers here we've given the goal kickers fellas or not uh no we haven't we'll give the goal kickers uh for geelong west cricket and football club justin ladder kicked two goals and ken denning kicked two goals and also rowan holdsworth kicked one dave primer kicked one and gavin ingwerson kicked one and for the victors thompson two to rick humphrey and singles to christian mcfarlane john demopoulos john burns terry nan Curvis, and the echo justin justin well, we've got our breath back up here. Uh, there's the final scores flashing there. 53 to 48. They'll be pretty happy, the Thompson Football Club. They were certainly underdogs this afternoon. In the words of Teddy Whitten, they stuck it up. Them. They certainly did. And, uh, well, Brett Revere down below, he'd be delighted because uh, I think he had his uh, money on Thompson. So, uh, well done, Brett. And Noel Fanning uh, selected Thompson here this afternoon. So, yeah, job well done. OK, better players. First of all, let's have a look at the victors. I thought Christian Smith was outstanding in defence. A great game from him. Jason Stein, until injured and taken from the ground, was uh, terrific up there at half forward. Did well. Yep, Andy, Andy Watson, very reliable. Chrissy Gardner, all the Gardner boys in that first half were dynamic. They're playing a great game. Christian McFarlane took some nice grabs from time to time. The big mop. Johnny Demopoulos. He put in, didn't he, Mop? Art of gold, he has that big fella. What about them bounces? If he go, if only had a bounce, when, when, he, when I called him running in, bouncing and shooting for goal, I'd have loved you to kick, I loved you to kick that one, Mop, but you couldn't put it through for me. Johnny Burns, what a great game he played today. Twisting and turning Especially all day. Especially first half, well, I thought. Setting yeah, up very the, good. Uh, the uh, Thompson uh, forward movements all afternoon. And the orator, the orator didn't put a foot wrong in the back pocket. Yes, certainly. You're Ricky Humphrey there, a couple of nice goals, and had he kicked a little bit straight, it could have yeah. kicked four or five. Yeah, the bear. Certainly, Berkey, pretty tough there at half back. The 21 Guernsey did a quite a good job. Nathan Taylor, you know, the towering inferno. Well, he always doesn't, do, he doesn't put a foot wrong, really, does he? Tries hard every week. And uh, when you're that tall, pretty hard to topple such a big fella. But uh, Terry Daly Curvis, brilliant. Matty Gardner, of course. So uh, I mentioned the Gardner boys, they've been terrific all day. And the Echo, he did some nice things too, kicked a nice goal there. Yep, Shane with us, in, in and out of the game, like was Marcus Harrison, but all in all it was a, a pretty good team performance set up by John Burns, I'd suggest, in the middle of the ground. Or well, it's in half forward, anyway, where he started. Whilst for Blue West, Stewie Scott never gave up trying, did he? he played he, When they were in trouble, he was down the back line, when they needed attacking, he was up on the forward line. Cowie was terrific, whether he's playing at full back or on the ball or on the wing, wherever he went, he just picked up possession after possession. Latter came back in the second half after lowering his colours and uh, probably still did lower his colours, but it certainly became constructive for them. And uh, I thought that uh, uh, Frankie and Nelly had little bits and pieces that could play too. And Mackenzie and Lucino in defence were terrific. Votes? Well, yeah, Justin. Votes. Justin, Justin, okay. No, it was Jason, Jason, <laughs> Jason. Jason. <laughs> okay, let's see what Jason's got to offer because I've given some funny votes, I reckon. Well, I probably, you probably say mine funny too. A couple of uh, omissions, and I apologise to these. Christian Smith at uh, fullback played a good game for Thompson, and uh, also Richard Neal at centre half back for uh, Geelong West Cricket Football Club. I've given one vote to Nick Lacino. I thought his run off the back line, not just in the last quarter when he was instrumental in setting up. Uh, the Blue West attacks, but for most of the game, he was pretty solid across the back line. I've given him one vote. 
given two votes to Stuart Scott. I know I gave him three votes the last time. I think a lot of people expect a lot of Stuart Scott uh, when he plays, but he still puts his body in all the time. And uh, in the first half, when it was needed, he went back and played as a loose man, as we uh, said through the call. So I've given him two votes, and I've given three votes to John Burns. His game in the first half especially set up the win for Thompson, and in the second half he did the bustling stuff through the centre of the ground, which needed to be done, so I've given him three votes. Well, I've given some interesting ones. Three different players I've found there for you. And, uh, <laughs> well, I've got my reasons. I gave one point to Terry Nan Kerbis on the wing. I think he had three or four opponents for the afternoon and soundly beat them all. Had he kicked a bit straight, he would have kicked three or four, but uh, certainly a great game for Terry Nan Kerbis. Doesn't mind a speck, he doesn't mind a shot at goal either, but he's certainly an avenue for them. He drifts around the ground and gives them somewhere to kick at. Uh, he's only a little player, but he, he's a target when they're kicking the ball back in uh, from full back or anything. Makes good position. Two points I gave the big Nathan Taylor. I thought his game in the ruck was terrific. Last time we saw these two sides play, uh, Justin Ladder certainly had by far and away the better of Nathan Taylor, and uh, he controlled the game. Justin came back a bit in that second half, but I thought Taylor's work out of the centre and uh, his bullocking around the ground was very good, giving the, his little players first use of the ball. And I thought one player made uh, probably one mistake for the day. Cowie missed the winning goal, and I gave him three points. I thought he was terrific in defence, he was terrific on the wing, and he was terrific on the ball. <laughs> OK, well, yeah, that's fair enough, Cookie. And, uh, you're going to uh, Scotty's face for two? Like, no, I'm not. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Don't tell me to play a good game today, Scotty Cowie. Oh, no, he did, no. the wrong ground. No, no, well, I'm, I'm going to apologise to Scotty Cowie and well, Stuart Wood. Scott. <laughs> because I couldn't fit them in. I, I've gone this way. Well, you won't get there for two. You're yeah. out. Uh, I, I gave Dave McKenzie one vote uh, in defence for the Geelong West side. I thought he was brilliant all day. And I love the way he attacks the football and uh, never really, uh, you know, never stops trying. Well, it's that type of game. Well, that's, that's uh, seven players given votes, seven votes given, and uh, seven different players. So it's yeah. a type of game. Two votes I gave to Christian Smith uh, in the last line of defence. I thought his, uh, his performance was exceptional. That's eight out of eight. <laughs> <for once. laughs> and uh, best on Grandy, I thought, without a doubt, Johnny Burns. Three votes. OK, well, Johnny's wrapped it up with two best uh, awards from both you and uh, Jason, who obviously I'm going to Scotty Cowes to be. And <laughs> We're going to Burnsies. To, you're going to Burnsies, and... Uh, there you go, don't be late. Looks a tough customer, Burns. If you're late, you wear the fry band when you walk in. Umpires today, Wayne Jervies, Adam Gladke and Sam Mirables on the boundary with Chris Bedham. Uh, Bedlam up here, actually. Uh, goal, goal scorers? No, the goal waivers were Peter Lugg and Chaz Rees. And while I'm doing that, Ronnie has added up uh, who's going to get the tickets because Johnny Burns has won the dinner for two at the Great Western Hotel. Yes, he has. Uh, we've got Christian Shaw... No. Yeah, Smith, I should say. Is he Christian Smith with uh, two votes and uh, Stuart Scott with two votes and, uh, and Scotty Nathan Taylor with two votes. And Scotty Cowie with well, three. Well, Scotty Cowie gets my, my evening two dinner votes. <laughs> All right, so... Uh, yes. So it's a toss-up between Taylor, Scott and Smith. Yes. Well, seeing you're the accurate one, Cookie, uh, we'll go to the big fella because he did set it up for the little fellas. And uh, congratulations, Nathan well, I, I hope his work didn't go unnoticed. I thought he played a terrific game. And I wasn't impressed with the previous game I'd seen him play, but that was a beauty today. I thought he just kept uh, kept on going. He rucked all day, and he beat all opponents, Ron. OK, congratulations to those three gentlemen there. The number 16, Guernsey for Thompson Footy Club. Here this afternoon, John Burns getting best on ground. Two votes went to the 42, Guernsey from Geelong West Cricket and Footy Club in Scotty Cowie. And one vote to the big ruckman who wore number 23 here this afternoon for Thompson in Nathan Taylor. Congratulations to all those people, to all the umpires. This is Brassy... A word on the umpires, Ronnie? Brassy Brain. A word on the umpires, Ronnie? You like to brag them? Yeah, what do you think about today? Yeah, they're okay. I thought they did all right. I thought they were consistent with that holding the ball rule. Yes. At least when you knew when you got the ball, you had to get rid of it. If you didn't, you got pinned. And yep. okay, everyone knew. I thought they did a pretty good job today. And I know that you think that Adam Gladke is too old because you said that on tape. I don't think you